WordPress is one of the most powerful website building platforms out there, but out of the box, it's actually pretty simple. There aren't a lot of bells and whistles included in the initial installation. The real power of WordPress lies in its extensibility. This whole platform is designed to be modified and extended. And one of the key ways that you can do that is by installing plugins. Now, plugins are small pieces of software that can be added to your website to do any number of things. They can make very small changes or they can completely transform your website. This is a big topic, so we're going to dedicate an entire section to plugins later on in the course. But for now, again, this is just a tour of the dashboard. So I want to show you where they are and maybe give you a couple of quick examples. So if you click over to the plugins menu, you will see a list of your currently installed plugins. Now, there may be nothing here uh, or you may have quite a few of these plugins. If you followed along with me and set up WordPress on Bluehost, you're probably going to see all of these pre-installed plugins, uh, some of which you may want to reactivate later, some of which you may not. So like I said, we will come back to this, uh, but just so you're aware, this is your list of currently installed plugins. And again, this looks a lot like the other tables inside of WordPress where you manage your posts, where you manage your pages. All of this design language translates across the entire WordPress platform. So you're going to become very familiar with using these things. And you can see with these currently installed plugins, you can activate or delete each individual plugin, or you can take a variety of bulk actions, including activating, deactivating, updating, deleting, or enabling or disabling auto updates. So uh, that's where your currently installed plugins are. And if you want to add a new plugin, click add new at the top. And this is sort of the official directory of plugins. And this is very similar to the theme directory. These are all free plugins that have been released to the WordPress community. And you can install and activate any of these in just a couple of clicks and then use them for free. So these are some featured plugins, and then you can click over to, let's say, popular plugins, and you'll see just a variety of popular WordPress plugins. So for example, Contact Form 7 is probably the most popular contact form plugin for WordPress. It's just exactly what it sounds like. You can install that, and it enables you to insert contact forms into your posts and pages. Uh, Yoast SEO adds a variety of search engine optimization features. We're actually going to cover that in depth later in the course because that is an important part of uh, setting up a WordPress website. WooCommerce is another popular one. This is for e-commerce. So if you want to turn your website into an online store with products, a shopping cart, and then you want to be able to accept payments, WooCommerce is basically an all-in-one solution that enables you to do that. Uh, another contact form plugin here, WP Forms. Let's see what else. We've got some security plugins. We've got import and export plugins. We've got backup plugins. You can see plugins range in their scope very widely. So you have plugins that do things like adding social media buttons, like you know your share buttons at the top and bottom of your blog posts, all the way to things like BuddyPress, which we can see here which basically turns your site into a full-fledged social network with registration and messaging and all kinds of different community features to allow your users to interact with each other. So you can see the power of WordPress and you can see how you can create something really unique by combining different configurations of plugins. And all of these plugins are free. You can install these for free. There are premium plugins out there but everything you find in the WordPress directory is going to be free. So when it comes to installing a plugin, I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So as an example, I'm going to install Contact Form 7, and it's very straightforward. So to see some more details about the plugin, you can click on the title of the plugin. 
And you'll see a description here. You can see maybe some frequently asked questions, screenshots, and then importantly, reviews from the WordPress community. So uh, you can see what other people are saying about the plugin and if it has any conflicts with other plugins, for example. And that can help to inform your decision on whether this is something that you actually want to install on your website. So um, just for this example, we are gonna go ahead and install this. Again, I recommend checking out the uh, details before you install, but you can just go ahead and install right here from the list, install now. Once it's installed, the button will change to activate. So you can click on that to go ahead and activate the plugin. And just like that, the plugin has been activated. And what you'll notice is that plugins will often add a menu item to your WordPress dashboard. So we have a new contact option here, and that is where you manage your contact forms. So if we go there, we're gonna see the same familiar design language, the table where you have your contact forms, and it's created one as an example for us. So we can click there, and this is our contact form. And if we wanna insert this somewhere, all we have to do is copy and paste this little short code into a post or page, and the contact form will show up. So that's just an example, that's just one plugin. There are many contact form plugins out there. There are many other plugins out there uh, that do a lot of different things. So just wanted to show you where your plugins are, how to activate them, and uh, of course, if you want to deactivate them, you can also do that from this menu. Just click deactivate next to that plugin, and you can see it's been deactivated and that contact menu is gone. So that is a brief look at plugins. We will come back to this, of course, and take a deeper look later on, but that is a brief introduction.